I just want to apologize from the start. I'm on a cell phone somewhere in the middle of Los Angeles, but my service might be a little bit shady. It might break up a little bit, but I'm here with y'all. You've been to Jamaica before. Did you like it? I've never been to Jamaica. I would love to go. Uh, I feel like I never really get a chance to like vacation uh, anymore. Like Most of my travel is usually because of work. But if I ever get some time off, Jamaica is probably one of the first places I come to visit. Seriously, what do you think are some of the keys to your success? You know, I think, uh, um, man, it's a lot of things. I think, you know, I think being prepared, I think hard work, you know, I think when you realize that you want something and, you know, every ounce of your being, you know, every fiber in your body is dedicated to that thing, you know, you, you, you I think you try to prepare yourself as much as you possibly can to, to always be in the best situation, you know, that you can be to be the best that you can be in whatever it is. So, you know, I think being a good guy, you know, I try to be, you know, kind of as many people as I can and, you know, uh, always open and gracious. And I think people want to work with somebody they like. But then outside of that, I think it's just a thing of being prepared. You know, I read a lot. I watch a lot of TV and movies. Um, I feel like I know, you know, as much as I can possibly. I mean, I feel like I'm always learning. And maybe that's what it is. It's me always wanting to learn more about what I do and about this passion and about this craft. And because of that, I'm always prepared because I'm, 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 there are things that I know along the way that help me out. How important is it to talk up or let your voice be heard? It's insanely important. You know, I don't, I don't know that we would, you know, obviously we're in a society and we're in a time where, you know, there's a lot of problems and, 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 and hopefully people working to fix those things, but we wouldn't be where we are today if people didn't speak up, you know, whether that's to the civil rights, whether that, I mean, you could take that back to slavery in the 1800s, you could take it to the civil rights movement in the 60s, uh, all the way to where we are today with, you know, officers, you know, killing, you know, black kids in the streets and, and there's no repercussion. I mean, you know, there's just so many things that we constantly have to speak up on and be heard on, you know, in order to initiate change. Um, a friend of mine always uses this analogy, but it's the squeaky wheel always gets oil. And, you know, when there's a problem, you have to speak up in order for it to get fixed. You know, it's just like, it's just like you guys on the show finding solutions to, to, you know, fix the issues that are happening in your lives. That that is what we need, and that is how we push society forward. And that is how, you know, you you see that speaking up has such a huge effect in, you know, in, in, in social settings, in economic settings, uh, in politics. Um, and you know, without it, you know, who knows where this world will be. This is a show for the youth by the youth. What would you want the next generation to know and learn? You can do whatever you want to do. And I know it's a cliche as it can get, but the reality is, man, if you just put your head down and you focus, and, and, and there's also, you know, there's also, you know, uh, an openness because you have to be open to, to, to learning new things and experiences and how those can mold you or shape you and uh, have an impact on, on what you're doing. But, the reality is, man, no, the only person, the only thing that can stop you from doing what you want to do is, is you. It's all about a mindset. and It's all about, you know, figuring out how to always learn and grow and make yourself the best that you can possibly be and be in the best situation that you can possibly be to achieve the things that you want to achieve. Music is such a powerful tool. How can you use it to empower the youth? What you realize is that like there are artists out there who have a positive message and who you know putting out records that actually make you think and if you break down their lyrics and you think a little bit more, you start to realize that there are pieces that you can connect to and you know and your world gets a little bit bigger, your world view gets a little bit bigger. It doesn't have to be the box that you're currently in. I teach this uh, creative writing class at a juvenile detention center here in Los Angeles and uh, these kids are, you know, Anywhere they're 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 below eighteen years old, um, so they're they're definitely in the same age range as you guys because they understand that people just look at them in a certain way, uh, just because of who they come from and what they look like. But when they start to talk about the things they know, they then start to have pride in the fact that they are smart, they are educated, 
they do know more than what most people would think they know. And you see them stand a little bit taller because of that, because they actually, for the first time, are realizing all of the things that they know. And I think that's the, that's, that's the cool thing about music, is sometimes you don't even realize, you know, you're listening to a lyric, and all of a sudden it just clicks in a certain way, and you realize how that connects with you and how it shapes you and focuses you. Uh, into into what you're doing in your life, and so I think music is insanely powerful medium, and it's one of those things that you know when you get a good artist who is smart and not just dumbing down and selling records just to sell records, you know when you get that opportunity to come across an artist like that, you know they're really really special and they can change the world. Well, I just want to say thank you so much for having me. It was an absolute blast, and I appreciate every single moment with y'all. Talk up, you. Top of you, Mr. Top of you. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Talk Up Youth, giving the youth a voice. Keep the conversations alive and help us to continue to find solutions for all our problems. Twitter and Facebook is at Talk Up Youth, hashtag T A L K U P Y O U T, and on Facebook, Talk Up Youth TV Show. See you then. Talk Up Youth is powered by National Baking Company in association with Cranwatha, a Stanley and Empress production, giving the youth a voice.